Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome. My name is Sarah. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing another what's in my bag. I know how much you guys love those. And we are about to head out on a road trip to go see some family for Thanksgiving. And I thought I would give you guys a little rundown of what's in my bag for a road trip. And this one, as opposed to like the traditional what's in my bag where I'm pulling everything out, is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna reverse it. We're actually gonna pack the bag. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I pack in my road trip bag, which is the base convertible backpack. So I'll be giving you guys a little tour of this bag, all of the different compartments and stuff in here because you guys know I love base. Base is like my favorite and I just feel like they have the best travel bags ever. But please don't forget to like this video if you guys would like to see more what's in my bags. Also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what some of your road trip essentials are. And of course if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe. The next video up after this video is Vlogmas. I'm so excited. I've been talking about Vlogmas over the last few weeks. I'm sorry if you guys are tired of it, but we're finally there. Now I'm not talking about Vlogmas. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas after this video. So if you guys don't want to miss out on that, make sure that you are subscribed and your notifications are on. And I know that these videos can get kind of chatty. I'm going to try to move quickly. So let's just jump into it and I'll show you what I'm packing in my bag for a road trip. Okay, so like I mentioned, the bag that I'm bringing with me is the base convertible backpack. I love this bag. This is such a staple for me. I use it for a million different things. I've used it for travel, like on an airplane, like regular. I've used it as a beach bag, as a shoot bag for whenever I'm out shooting content and Instagram photos and stuff. It just comes in handy. There's so many different compartments in here and it's really convenient because it can be a backpack or you can carry it like a tote. So it's nice that you get the two options. The one that I have is the black croc bag. I just like the crocodile kind of embossed style details. And in the front, you have a very large pocket. Like honestly, it's super large. You can fit a few things in there, which there already is stuff in there. And I'll run through what those are in a second. And that also has this little side compartment, which would be a great spot to keep things like your passport or something. If you're traveling in the airport with this, just really easy to grab it out of the side there. And then it also has another pocket in the back here. So if you need to keep like important documents or stuff very close to you, so that it's like harder to snatch out, especially when you're wearing it as a backpack, this is a good spot to do that. And then inside, it's seriously so deep in there. Like you can pack so much in here. One thing though is I wouldn't pack too much because this is meant to, when it's a backpack, kind of like fold over like this. So if you pack too much, it has to stay up straight, which actually is what tends to happen to me. I'm just a textbook overpacker. It's just who I am, but it has one large pouch right back here. I don't know how well you guys can see, but that pouch is like for your laptop or any electronics. And then it has like a little mesh pouch right here. And then two smaller pouches inside. Again, hard to see because it's black and I'm so sorry about that. And that has a little chain here in case you want to attach like your keys or something so they're easier to find. And then I realized I should let you guys know too, on the back here, it does have a little trolley carry option, just like most other base bags do. So let's go ahead and jump into packing this bad boy. The road trip that we're going on is from California to Arizona. It's about a five, five and a half hour trip without any traffic with minimal stops. Stops. So we're gonna be in the car for a pretty long time So I just like to bring enough stuff to know that I'm gonna be comfortable and I'm gonna have everything that I need So the first item that I'm packing in here is a travel essential Usually it's like a travel essential for the plane But I feel like it's just as valuable on a road trip and it's this travel blanket So you can use this one of two ways you can leave it zipped up like this and kind of use it like as a pillow Which is nice or you can open it up and I don't want to take the whole thing out because I don't want to have to refold it but there is the blanket inside so basically you unravel it and this pouch is actually one of the sides of the blanket so it kind of folds into itself and it makes a little pocket but this blanket is seriously so soft I love this gray color I got this from Amazon and you know since we're almost to the holidays if you guys are looking for a good gift this travel blanket is seriously a good one I think I might even got this as a gift I might have had it on my wish list last year so just all around though this would come in clutch whether you are traveling by car or by plane in this one goes and I'm gonna put it at the bottom because this is the biggest piece so that's why I wanted to start with it a little hard to stuff in there just because there's so many different pockets it keeps getting caught then next because you know I want to entertain myself while we're on the road and stuff and I don't necessarily want to drain my phone battery I am gonna bring my iPad I believe that this is like an iPad Air or something I'm not entirely sure but 
there it is you know just your standard iPad if you guys want to see what's on my lock screen hold on and here's what's on my lock screen that little handsome face that's Spartacus for anyone who's new that is my boy he's just like he's just so handsome anyways this is my iPad I don't keep a case on it I know that I should because I actually don't use it that much unless I'm traveling and then I have a little pop socket on the back because pop sockets are just like seriously the best thing so I'm actually gonna pack this into where the laptop would go I am bringing my laptop on my trip with me because I need to be editing vlogmas and videos and stuff for you guys but I'm gonna be packing that in a different bag then next because I get cold very very easily we're doing a road trip in the winter and I know Trevor he's gonna have the AC blasting my feet might get cold so I am bringing these socks in my bag I just got these from Vibe Below and I love these I have a pair that's kind of like a similar style to this from a different company but this is my newer one and I want to bring it too because it's like green and festive for the season these are basically knit socks they have a little grip on the bottom them because they're like kind of meant to be worn around the house but you could definitely wear them in a car if you want to be cozy and then they have a Sherpa lining inside so you can be super warm super cozy just you know all of those like wintry cozy comfy feels then next I'm gonna bring my Instax camera I love taking instant pictures whenever I'm on a trip there's just something so nostalgic about instant pictures so I'm gonna go ahead and pack this guy then I'm also going to pack a notebook. You know, when you're on a road trip, it's a lot of downtime. So it's definitely a good opportunity for me to brainstorm new content ideas and stuff for my channel, for my Instagram, for my brand in general. So I'm going to bring a little notebook. I don't want to like type my notes on my iPad just in case we're using it for music if we're going through somewhere where we don't have reception or something. And also too, I get car sick incredibly easily, like so, so, so easily. And it's worse when I'm looking at a screen, so I don't want to be like working on my iPad. So I prefer to just work pen and paper. Also, I feel like I'm more creative that way. So I'm going to bring this notebook and I have a little pen to go with it. And I'm actually going to pack that in the same spot as the iPad just so it can stand straight up. Then next, I'm going to pack a little pouch up. It's this one. I think that you can get this off of Etsy. I will ask my cousin. She asked me to be her bridesmaid over the summer and I'm just like, obsessed with this. This was like the cutest little idea. So I've been loving this for when I travel. I tend to pack a lot of tech stuff in here or things that I just like need to reach easily. First thing I'm going to pack is an extra pack of the instant camera film. Then I'm going to pack this little light. This is like a selfie ring light for your phone or sometimes I even use it on this camera. We should be there by the time it gets dark but just in case the sun goes down extra early or we're running behind I'm just going to pack it in case I need the light. Then I'm going to pack my little tripod. I love this thing. This just comes in like so clutch to hold my camera and it can even extend which is just like wonderful to have that option then this is really cool I've showed this in other what's in my bags but this is like this little camera lens cleaning stick so on one end it has like a little cleaner for the lens and then on the other end is a brush in case I get like any debris in there that I need to brush out and then speaking of my camera I would also pack extra batteries in here but they are all charging downstairs but just know extra batteries for sure and then speaking of that I'm also going to take an external charger with me for my phone I just got a brand new phone which is the pixel 5 and the battery on this is really good right now because it's brand new but still you just never know I'm just gonna take an external battery with me then some lens cleaning fluid and a little cleaning cloth just because this is also great for like glasses sunglasses stuff like that so it doesn't hurt to have that on hand also gonna pack a little tide to go this isn't like necessarily road trip specific just more great to have when you're traveling or out and about and I'm just gonna put it in here with my stuff I'm gonna pack a lip gloss this is the Lauren Conrad lip gloss this lip gloss you guys it's my favorite lip gloss it's so good the formula on it is amazing it's not sticky and this color dawn is just like so so pretty on bare lips or over a lipstick it's just so good I'm also gonna pack just like a regular lip balm this is Burt Bees strawberry Oh, that smells so good. Then in here, I'm also going to pack one of three hand sanitizers that I'm taking with me because, you know, Corona. This one is a little spray that my mom gave to me. She works at a hospital here, so those are the ones that they apparently hand out, which is nice to have the option for a spray. Then I'm also going to pack my iPad cord in here just so that it doesn't get lost in the bag. And then also the charger to charge the camera batteries. And this also charges the little selfie ring light as well. And then lastly, a scrunchie in case, you know, I want to put my hair up. So that is the little stuff. Oh, and I almost forgot I'm going to pack extra SD cards that should go in this pouch as well. 
glad I'm packing on camera because I feel like I'm being extra thorough, which is great. Then next, I'm gonna pack some everyday makeup. This isn't gonna be the only makeup that I'm bringing with me. I am bringing a lot more makeup. This is just more of my super quick light face in case I need to do my makeup in the car or touch anything up. If you guys wanna see all of the makeup and stuff that I'm bringing, check out my last vlog where I was showing a little bit of like pack with me and stuff like that. But I'm gonna pack my Subtle Beauty makeup stack. I just did a review on this. This basically has like everything in it. It has shine control powder, highlighter, bronzer, lip and cheek tint and concealer and has a little puff on the bottom. Pack my Milk Makeup Blur Stick, my Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. This thing is amazing. This is life. This is like one of the best makeup products to come out this year, hands down. I love it so much. And I'm shade medium, just in case you're curious. I'm also gonna pack my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Even though the Subtle Beauty has a concealer in it, I don't like it for my under eyes. I really hate it for my under eyes. It is wonderful for spot concealing, but I definitely need the Dior for my under eyes. Then I'm also gonna pack this brush from Subtle Beauty. This is the coolest thing ever. It actually like expands and then like reshortens as you open up the brush, which is like so cool. This brush is great. It's very like multi-purpose. My e.l.f. Wild Brow in case I need to touch up my brows. Some eyeliner. This is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is the best eyeliner, hands down. I don't care whether you're talking high end, low end, drugstore, whatever, this eyeliner is the creamiest, blackest eyeliner ever. It's so underrated, it's just, it's so good and I'm almost out. I definitely need to get more because I can't live without it. Then also packing some mascara, my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And then lastly, a little eyelash curler, just, you know, in case I need to recurl my eyelashes apparently. But it's actually surprising. That all fits in this little small case, which is, pretty good for me because if you guys see the full makeup bag, you will be shocked that I was able to pare things down that well. But that's all I'm gonna pack in the back because yeah, we can't even fold this. This is, <laughs> I did exactly what I said not to do in the beginning, which was to overpack the body. To be fair, I had called that I was gonna do that. But the rest of this stuff is gonna go into the front pocket, which like I said, is really big, really deep, so you can fit a lot. I have a couple of hand sanitizers in there already and a bunch of sand just fell out of that. And then I also have a pack of Kleenex. Yes, that is R2-D2. I am obsessed with Star Wars and my sister-in-law and her family got that for me last year. And I use those tissues very sparingly because I absolutely love that pack. Then I'm also gonna pack an extra pair of sunglasses. I am taking a purse still. So that's where things like my phone, my wallet, keys, all of that stuff is gonna go. So that's why I'm not packing any of that stuff into this bag. This is just kind of like extras that I wanna make sure are on hand, easy to grab. I don't have to dig around in the luggages for them, but I am gonna pack an extra pair of sunglasses cause I'm crazy and I always like need to have two pairs of sunglasses on hand. These are like the ultimate travel sunglasses and these are the Desi Perkins fall back sunglasses. Like how good are these for travel? It just covers your whole face. You don't have to worry about looking haggard or anything like that. Just throw these on. Don't look at me, you know? Fall back. Figured that these would be perfect for a road trip. If the sun's in my eyes, they're like nice and big and they are gonna block that sucker. Then I'm also gonna take an extra mask and since this is a Thanksgiving road trip, tis the season because it's the holiday season. How perfect is this? It says Mary on it. So I'll pack that in the front so it's just easy to grab. And then lastly, I'm gonna pack a little snack for myself. We are gonna bring other snacks, but that's probably gonna go in the cooler. Again, watch the last vlog if you wanna see the actual snacks that we pack and stuff. But in this bag, I'm gonna pack some Smart Sweets. These are the Peach Ring Smart Sweets. They're only 100 calories for the bag zero grams of fat, only three sugars, but it also has 24 grams of fiber, which is just like so good. Fiber is so important. So this is like a great way that you can sneak it in and just a great alternative to like super sugary candies. So popping that into the front so that if we stop at a gas station or something, I'm not tempted to get candy. I know that I have candy right there in the front, but that is it. That is everything that I pack in my bag for a road trip in the base convertible backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what some of your road trip essentials are. Also, let me know what you guys did for Thanksgiving. I'd love to hear it. If you guys want to see how our Thanksgiving went again, make sure you're subscribed because that is actually going to be the first video of Vlogmas. So if you guys want to see how our road trip went and everything, make sure to stick around. And also, of course, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel 
channel so so much when you guys interact with my videos and I'd really appreciate it if you guys would take the extra second and hit the thumbs up but anyways I am gonna get going we have a lot more stuff to prep and pack for our road trip as of this time when this video goes up we're actually on our way back so if you guys want to kind of see a sneak peek of what's coming up with vlogmas make sure that you're following me on Instagram but I love you guys thanks again so much for watching it means a lot to me that you guys take the time out of your day to watch my videos and I will see you in the next video for vlogmas day one Bye.